Every 17 seconds, an American is diagnosed with diabetes, and the CDC estimates that one in three Americans will develop diabetes in their lifetime if that trend continues. But there are stories of hope for people with diabetes, stories of how regular people like Whitney Morgan beat the statistics and broke the cycle of the diabetes epidemic. And with November being American Diabetes Month, these stories are especially important. Whitney Morgan joins us now along with Dr. Jeff Stanley, medical director and physician with Verta Health. Uh, Whitney, let's begin with you. Uh, when were you first diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? I was diagnosed five years ago, um, and when the doctor tested me, my numbers, my A1C and my, my fasting glucose were so high uh, that it was an immediate danger for me. Um, and so I've been struggling for the last five years with different medications to try to uh, manage it. And Dr. Stanley, you know, I think we all struggle with this, knowing what the issues are happening inside our bodies. What are some of the common, common symptoms of type 2 diabetes? Yeah, so some of the common symptoms that might tip someone off that they might be in, in danger of developing diabetes or may have developed diabetes, you know, are things like fatigue, uh, frequent urination or blurred vision. Um, in addition, some people also may not have any symptoms and it's first diagnosed on just a, a routine test. And Dr. Stanley, uh, when we think of treating diabetes, we immediately think of uh, what medications are out there, right? But are there other ways that you can treat it? Yeah, I mean, the really good news for people with, with type 2 diabetes is that it is actually reversible. And when I say reversible, I mean that people can get their blood glucose and their hemoglobin A1C back to a normal non-diabetic range, um, and they can do it without medications. And so our, our team at Verta Health, um, what we're able to do is in working closely with patients, um, we help them to make lifestyle and nutrition changes. Uh, we support them with health coaching coaching, uh, physician supervision, and an app. And then through that process, people are able to quickly see these improvements in their blood glucose. Uh, we monitor them closely and then help to reduce their medications and eventually even get off them. And Whitney, having gone through what you've gone through, what advice do you have for people who are recently diagnosed with diabetes? You really need to educate yourself. Uh, you go in to see your doctors and you trust you know, what they're telling you, but now I know that I can actually maintain or manage my numbers, um, not on medication. I can actually do it through nutrition, uh, a low carb diet lifestyle, and it's worked for me. And you know, if it's working for me, I know that I can share my experience with other people. But you've got to educate yourself. You can't just rely on what other people tell you. And finally, Dr. Stanley, uh, who is a good candidate for Verta's treatment? Yeah, I would say anyone with type 2 diabetes who feels ready to make a change. You know, people that are sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. Uh, and one of the interesting things and really amazing things that I've seen in my experience is that, you know, we, we have patients, either they might be newly diagnosed and they're scared about the diagnosis or scared about needing to go on to insulin. Um, but I also have people who've had diabetes for 20 years or more and are on multiple medications, including insulin, who are still able to reverse the diagnosis. So I would say that it's really, you know, never too late. And it's always something where when you feel ready to make a change, um, that's the right time. Such a benefit to hear a, a hopeful story here. So I'm glad that we were able to talk to both of you. Lastly, where can we go for more information? Yeah, folks can just go to our website at vertahealth.com. Uh, there are some resources in terms of learning more about diabetes or about the lifestyle changes, uh, some links to our clinical trial research, um, and also some uplifting stories like Whitney's uh, for folks that, that may need that little bit of uh, inspiration. Thank you so much, Whitney and Dr. Stanley, with this important information.